This guy said he had some mocha ones, turbo green ones, and also some cap and gown 11s, all brand new. As you can see, from what we're looking at, do these 11s look brand new? Hell no. From what we're looking at, this man is already out his damn mind. We didn't even look at the shoes fully yet, but let's get into the video. I thought you had a box for all. Nah, just not, I, I had the cap and gown for about a year or two. He started talking about a whole different topic. I already knew something was off, but I looked at the insoles and he had Crip Gang insoles. Like, I don't know how you get Crip insoles. You don't got the original East insoles? Nah, bro. I run a nine. He's eight and a half. You know, yeah, you know gotta I took one look at the boxes. There was so much dance. It looked like King Kong literally was smacking down on the boxes beating on the boxes bro like i don't know what happened to these boxes but it looked like king kong literally broke the boxes down i i ain't even know what to tell him like let's just get back in the video i saw the boxes i knew they were fake but as soon as i picked up the jordan one something was off too they look way too flat. Like, they look like leprechaun shoes, literally. I don't know what he was trying to do with these, but sell them to me could not go on to be. I started to look at them more, and they honestly gave me leprechaun one and two vibes. They gave me leprechaun one and two vibes. If you know that movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. But... I don't know what he was honestly trying to do with these. Like, sell them to me, bro. She, she was really trying to finesse me. And you had nothing else? Yeah, I got the laces. Okay. Okay. No, I'm talking about any more shoes. Oh, yeah, I got I got some shoes, but I'm just trying to keep them for personal. I feel that. Where do I start? Lordy, lordy, lord. The brown on these ones are way too off. Sheesh. Let's, bro, let's get back into the vid. Nah, like down south. Later in the video, he'll say that he just moved here and he just responded, oh shit, to when I said down south, which means that he does live here. Sheesh. Where'd you get these, bro? I don't know. My boy gave them to me. This guy just told me that he didn't know first. Then he said that his friend gave them to him. Now how much you said? Yeah. yeah, how much you said for them? How much you said for them? The tag was a dead giveaway. I didn't even look at the tag at the start. Oh my lord. Look at the font on the tag, bro. It looked like he got a printer and smacked it down on the box like bro it looked like he printed this at his house matter of fact he just got paper glued it to the box and wrote on it with permanent marker like this dude is out of his mind I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think he's off. Yeah. 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 You say you bought them, though, bro? No, my boy gave them to me. This should be something. Oh, yeah. You ain't buying that, bro. Because yeah, I think he's off. Nah, yeah. I don't, I don't spend that much money on them. But how much would you do for the cap and gown? For $215, but I'll sell them to you for $200. I thought it was a way better condition. Just, just give me half of them. After I told him I thought they were in way better condition, he started to get an attitude and acted like I was supposed to buy the beaters he brought to the table and also the fakes. My guy, no way. 70? Nah, I reckon it's 70. Yeah, I probably have a pass, man. The bots had a mind of its own. It literally split in half mid-video without me even touching it. I tried to cover it up and just put the cover on the top of the box and let him deal with it, but it couldn't even fit, bro. 
So I just handed it over to him and let him deal with it. It was not my problem. He ended up asking me if I wanted the Turbo Ones, which were also fake. And I looked at them and they actually had a Chinese tag on them. I look, there's a stamp right here. You can see that. It's like a stamp right here. And there's a step right there. Nah, because I searched up that number right there, but it popped up though. Like, if I could show you in the, like, if it was darker in there, yeah. you could probably see it, but yeah. Alright, Alright, bro. A lot of people have been asking me, why am I not driving the Jeep? I'm here today to tell you guys the story of what happened on a recent sneaker deal. Yes, sir. As you can see, there's a huge bullet in my windshield. Jesus, thank you, Lord. I survived this, but let's get into the story. Yes, sir. Basically, a lot of people been asking why I'm not driving my Jeep anymore. Because I got shot at, bro. I was driving, I came from a steal, and they, real, they must have realized how much of a steal I got. So they started shooting. The first shot, I saw the bullet come in. It was coming towards me out of the look at it and dodge it. And the second time they shot, I had to catch it like that. Like they basically they shot it and pluck out and I just caught the bullet. Nah, let me stop playing. But I was literally driving on the highway and then like a huge crack just came out of nowhere. Like I promise you, like all you hear was pluck out and like it was just a hole in my windshield so i'm just not driving that car anymore i'm scared that junk gonna just break through and kill me on the way to a steal or something so yeah that's basically what happened the sneaker swap a sneaker event for the culture is coming up on may 30th y'all boys make sure you do pull up i'm stacking up a lot of deals for that event i will have a table y'all boys just pull up bro i have about like eight pairs right now i'm supposed to be getting like nine more pairs soon so nine plus pairs yes sir this video was shot in the same day and hopefully posted in the same day i got it still right before it once again i'm not posting any more of my steals until after the event after i sell them at the event so don't expect any steals until after may 30th or whenever i think it's may yeah with me right now yeah i think so so yeah y'all boys just stay tuned and wait for those vids but till then i'm gonna be doing like deals that i pass on or exposing videos so y'all boys just tune in i'm trying to get into all of those deals i'm i just have to edit them but yeah y'all boys go ahead and follow me at trash Atlanta and Atlanta underscore resales and my brand at dsdid also me on tiktok at dsdid Yes, sir. Till next time, make sure you do these two things, though. Make sure you do these two things. One, always low ball. Always low ball so you can get the price down. And two, make sure. Make sure you always do this second one. Make sure you watch those ads, bro. Watch the ads.